need for companies to have transparency over their green and social credentials certainly has moved from a nice to have to a need to have. A recent survey carried out by CCH to get it found that 82% of companies agree that they need to comply with the requirements. And as we'll discuss later, the CEO is leaning very heavily on the CFO to take ownership of it. And 93%, as Peter outlined earlier, say that it's important to connect ESG objectives with the financials as well. However, one of the key things here is that in that same survey, the finance leaders also said that the key investment priorities for their functions are to adopt automation in the Office of Finance, accelerate and embed digital skills among accounting and financial professionals, taking advantage of things like advanced predictive to kind of shore up their forecasting capabilities, as well as also a compliant sustainable strategy. And But one of the key things as well that's very important for this and a lot of the other initiatives in finance is a single global data hub encompassing both that non-financial and financial data. So is it really possible to sustain these existing initiatives as well as introducing an ESG framework or whilst doing the day job? But there are numerous challenges that this topic presents, not least because it's an umbrella term, really, that refers to a number of initiatives, guidelines and regulations, along with this, I guess, sort of general zeitgeist rather than a single focused initiative that we might have seen you know, in the past with other, for example, IFRS regulations. And even at these early stages, a few months after COP26, there seems to be a palpable sense of cynicism, you know, kind of going on from this topic of greenwashing that, um, that Peter outlined earlier. You know, a recent poll indicated that 86% of investors believe that companies frequently overstate or exaggerate their ESG progr progress whilst disclosing results. And 72% don't, be 72 don't believe that they will achieve their ESG goals at all. So, and this, it's almost like you hear that term greenwashing, then you really do the actual ESG mandate itself. So it's clear that companies really need to push very hard to be more transparent and detailed than ever if th that tide of public support will turn in their favor. So let, well, let's just drill in kind of a little bit more on some of these challenges specifically. So as with any any kind of issue kind of in finance or operations, data is at the heart of any challenge. And it's data acquisition and the treatment of that data is probably the hardest thing to get right. Gathering and linking operational and financial data has long been a goal of many companies, but very few have managed it. Most companies have nowhere near the level of data that's required to really track ESG across the business. And add to this the regional and global guidelines and mandates, it creates a significant risk to the business. <clears throat> And the risks really, again, are kind of numerous. <clears throat> you know, as, as we all know, access to capital and credit ratings are going to lean on um, the ES, our attitudes and judgments on ESG. We'll dive into a bit about supply chain, although supply chain isn't necessarily a regulatory requirement at the moment. Companies we're speaking to are saying that they are being pushed to source from more those with more ethical practices, demonstrate strong compliance and even push that through, through down to into their suppliers as well, which is going to be a pain um, for anybody. And again, we'll explore the impact on forecasts and business planning in the future as well. But let's not forget that reputational perception. Beside being a regulatory compliance mandate, in some cases, as Peter said, boards are already being targeted by these KPIs as well. So companies, it's going to affect how companies are perceived by the wider stakeholders, lawmakers, investments and credit agencies too. So it's clear to see that those that will separate themselves from the pack are the ones that will convince investors that these ESG policies are working over and above their increasing regulatory obligations. And again, I won't dwell on this too much because I'm sure those of you dialing into this webinar are, are well aware of, of the mandates that are coming. Um, and there are many kind of at a regional and a global level that, you know, we're seeing that a lot of companies are obviously kind of early adopters in terms of the GRI for guidance and disclosure. However, in the UK, a lot of companies are focusing on the framework provided by TCFD, which is that task force created by the finance, financial stability board aiming to provide high quality information on the impacts of climate change and 
and we, you know, we've seen you know, mention of the, the, the SFDR coming in. We've got the Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive coming in 2023. We're also seeing indications from our counterparts in the US and APAC that the SEC in Shanghai and Zen, Shenzhen stock exchanges will look to uh, implement requirements either alongside or over and above those for IFRS. And of course, we can't just look at these regulations in isolation. IOPA are going to be making significant changes to S2 disclosures for um, insurance companies. And UK SOX is likely to hit harder than, you know, some of the recent storms in the next 12 to 18 months. So that old adage of the ever changing compliance landscape is really more relevant than ever. CCH to get it continues to evolve as the market evolves and in our latest release we've included a prepackaged yet extensible ESG and sustainability performance management solution. Let's take a look. It starts with my home page where as the VP of sustainability I log into the application and land on my personalized home page. The most frequently accessed areas of the application will have tiles on my home page so that everything is just one click away. To review some internal reports highlighting key ESG KPIs, I'll access my ESG summary package. Here, we're highlighting key KPIs across some of the major frameworks globally, for example, GRI, SASB, and TCFD. On the GRI side of things, we're highlighting KPIs related to emissions, energy, and diversity. So for example, I can easily see that our scope 2 emissions are the largest source of emissions, something I should probably follow up on. On the SASB side of things, we're highlighting key KPIs across three different industries. At any point in time, I can look behind the scenes of these charts by uncovering the underlying data, and I can leverage CCH to get its analytic capabilities and drill into any data. I can then update my view and leverage more visualization capabilities. How are we able to get to this stage of analysis on KPIs? It's all managed within the ESG process, where we have a workflow of steps associated to the process as well as tasks associated to the steps. Here, we'll be able to access the settings associated to our ESG process where we can see pre-configured metrics and KPIs as well as create our own. To populate the data, we'll leverage our built-in ETL capabilities to connect to any external source or simply use data entry capabilities. We'll validate and normalize the data. So for example, when collecting our mileage of our fleet of trucks, the system will automatically convert it to the reporting metric of CO2 equivalent. And then for companies that have to comply with the EU taxonomy, we have a specific workflow of tasks based on the industry we're looking at. For banks, for example, we start with a set of tasks dedicated to review the settings applied. We then have tasks dedicated to the data loads, data entry, and eligibility test, and the calculation of KPIs. We'll analyze various output reports, such as this KPI report, highlighting all of the KPIs we've just calculated. Once we've completed our process, CCH Togetics Collaborative Office will facilitate the completion of your disclosures and presentations. We'll dynamically connect charts, paragraphs, tables, and data points so that when they're updated externally, we'll automatically get the updates into our disclosures. So CCH Togetics ESG and Sustainability Performance Management Solution is fully equipped to meet all of your ESG needs.